Hey everyone, we are back with another team. This time it's one of my favorites, one of my absolute favorites, which is Leo Section. <clears throat> uh, as you know, we will be getting Hong Lu Leo Section, and I'll probably go over him in a later video. But uh, let's talk about let's talk about what we have here. So first up, more salt. So I mean, the whole theme of Leo Section is inflicting burn. So you don't even need to win any coins, you just inflict burn. So, skill 1, bread and butter, burn. Uh, I've already gone through a video of this, one of my older ones, one of my more popular videos either, which is like the best, the best uh, mirror dungeon team, which it still is, in my opinion, because I've done some silly, silly numbers with it. Right, uh, so yeah. Um, you just need to win the clash to inflict burn. This one, inflict two burn. If target has six plus burn, inflict two burn on two random enemies. Suddenly spreads fire everywhere, you know. Uh, perfected death fist. This, this skill is really cool. So it's three burns on heads for the first one. And then it's going to be three. And if the enemies are already on fire, just spread fire. You know, just fire everywhere. No one cares about the fence. That shit's getting changed. Uh, two pride. I think this is pride, right, guys? No, pride is the fire one. Why isn't this one fire? Whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, whatever the fuck this is. Uh, one attacked, inflict one burn on the attacker. Oh, it's Lust. I knew that. Shut up. Uh, so yeah, if you use Lust, two Lust, one attack, inflict, one attacked, inflict burns. Okay, yeah. You know, Marisol being the tanky boy. The other section, Gregor. He is legitimately probably overpowered. I would say he does... More damage than G Corp under certain situations. I want to say he's also consistently more damage than G Corp. But G Corp can go off, though. Okay. First one, single point stab. Just like the previous one. When the clash, do damage. Also, Leo Gregor clashes really well. He's a very good clasher. He's really good. Uh, rush down. Head hits, inflict burn, inflict burn. If not... Inflict three burns on a hit. If target has six plus burn, gain one attack level up next turn. So that's why he's so good, because rush down will give you attack up if the enemy's already on fire, which is very easy to set them on fire. And this one, perfected palm strike, six skill. Um, if you win all your head twirls, someone's gonna just become barbecue. It's great. Uh, this is really such a good skill, probably one of my favorite. It does a ton of damage. I think. Um, at level 20, Gregor can do up to 80 damage if you flip all heads with this. And that's not including the burn. The burn is like another 20, so it's almost 100 points. Ignition, the third and subsequent coin of a skill inflicted, burns on hit. So just punch him a lot. Uh, or just use a lot of skills, I guess. Yeah, that's it. And who else are we using? Oh yeah, we're using G Corp. Uh, Otis in this video too. Uh, so G Cor Corp Otis is really good, and there's a reason why more people don't use her even though she's good. Let's just go over them, okay? Order, your bread and butter. On hit, apply two protections to an ally with the lowest speed. This is strange, because the ally with the lowest speed on average will probably either be, oops, a uh, slightly tanky fellow. Like when I think of slow, slow targets, I think of Zway. I think of uh, Jeffy, that's right, Jeffy. And I think of any of the Mersault identities. Those guys usually are of the slower variety. And as you know, if you're slow, you don't clash or get hit that often, most of the time. At least with target abnos. Even even if like, you know, if it's like a 5v4, 5v4, 4v4 and the other one, the slow guy will probably not clash with anybody, on average. Um, so yeah, this one, kind of weird. You just need to land the hit, and you apply two protection. However, Onslaught Command, which is more or less her bread and butter, to be honest with you. Apply one attack power to the ally with lowest speed, which is okay. But if you win the coin toss, you apply two damage up to the ally with the lowest speed. Which is really good. So if the last guy is a really heavy hitter, which I can't think of any slow heavy hitters, to be honest with you. If you can, drop it in the comment. I'd like to... I like to play around with uh, G Corp Otis a little bit more. And Focus, which is inflict sinking and attack power down on hit, which is really good because you're probably not going to win this coin toss. 
I'll be honest with you guys. You're probably not going to win that coin toss. Uh, sinking, pretty much when hit by an attack, take fixed XP damage by the effect's potency. So you inflict 5, they're going to take 5 SP damage, and it's going to go down each turn. Pretty useful. If you do a whole sinking team, you can really fuck people. Especially the fact that, um, turns out the coin flips were bugged in enemy favor. Go figure. Like, they weren't scaling with SP correctly. So if you looked at the bug report as of April 3rd, it will show that. Speaking of April 3rd, uh, apparently Don Chi was overpowered and they nerfed her because apparently this was not working correctly. This was apparently just, it just worked like this. That, that's how it was supposed to work. Um, yeah, so, so it was applying the plus three skill power without the 10 plus speed. So they're fixing that. I may have to change Don Chi in the tier list when we complete this, but that's besides the point. Oh yeah, fuck. Let's go back to G Corp Otis. Passives. Morale boost. Next turn, apply two haste to self and allies who are adjacent to this unit on the dashboard. Uh, throw in the back. One ally with the highest HP roundly gains one attack power up, one defense, one protection at the start of the combat phase. That's crazy. G Corp Otis is really good. You just leave on the bench. I mean, if you are hitting five sloth skills in a, in a fucking turn. So, just make a sloth team, I guess. Which seems quite unreasonable. Okay, enough about that. Let's jump into the gameplay. Uh, mute. Cool. Uh, media source. Uh, unhide. It's playing. For this one, we went with today's expression, which is the blunt one. Which, honestly... Uh, Jesus, is this too loud? Probably. Alright, my bad. Today's expression actually kind of sucks. It actually sucks a lot. Because it only applies after you kill the enemy. Is when you get the blunt up. Most of the times, you you know, you're just... Uh, it's it's really mediocre. Do not get today's expression if you can. But the other... You know, I'm not doing any bleeds. So I didn't take a wolf. And the other one was just a heal. Which I guess I could have taken. Pretty simple simple run. You know, you go sword, HP, etc. Uh, we're just going to see the first fight. It's just kind of... It's going to show off the team. And then we'll just go from there. So, you hit the I win button. And, of course, you're going to... You know, start off with perfected palm strike, which instantly kills them, of course, because it does a million damage. Mercer lost the first clash, but it's fine. Not actually. Hit the I win button again. So, um, Leo Gregor is also very fast, very powerful, wins clashes, does high damage, and also applies burn. And I've already talked quite highly about how good it is. See, um, you're not going to win coin tosses often with G Corp Otis. And sadly, a lot of her damage relies on winning that coin toss uh some effects will go off with or without the coin toss that's fine but her damage alone which is good damage she does do good damage does rely on winning the coin toss so uh we'll probably skip around a little bit i think we just skipped all the way to the final boss here of the first floor so you know use focus does it hit yeah it hits so it did a lot of damage right there as you can see it did half his hp bar didn't stagger him though but that's fine uh, rush down, etc. Burn them. Okay, I guess I just stagger them. Never mind, I'm an idiot. Uh, again, her green skill, which needs to win the coin toss to apply damage. See, he got... Uh, Mersault got the damage applied. Mersault is also going last, so he's the one with... He's currently the most buffed character. But not that it matters, because Gregor is just going to kill everybody on the screen. Simple as that. Um... Does this team work? I was actually shocked. It did work. And I got Battery Waifu. So, uh, yeah, pretty powerful. I decided to just go with Base Heathcliff. Because I don't... Yeah, I haven't gotten the circuit board yet. I don't know if I get the circuit board this run. I'm pretty sure I do get the circuit board this run. Uh, the circuit board, as you know, applies a burn every time you do burn and envy. Envy being purple. Heathcliff has three purple as his base. So that's why I picked uh, Base Heath Heathcliff. Um, we're going up to another fight here. We're going to hit win rate, like always. Perfected palm strike. This man is just the deadest in the universe. You know, that's 80 damage right there. Like, level 15, maybe even 20. And, uh, that's not, you know, including the burn. Um. So, G Corp Otis won the head top. Oh, there we go. Again, 
G Corp Otis is good if you win the coin toss, which may become more likely going forward after the bug change where they're fixing the SP. We got Guido, I think, for the final floor boss here, and he's a fucking joke, obviously. So, lost the coin toss, getting stabbed in the face, that's fine. Rush down, I think Gregor wins this one. Yeah, he does. So, you know, you know how Guido works. <clears throat> You go in, you press I win, you fucking win, you stagger him, and then he just dies next turn. He's not even a real fight. Like, genuinely not even a real fight. Um, spoilers, I just demolish him. He's just dead. He's just absolutely dead, especially after a perfected death fist. And, of course, I lose the last roll. Uh, we're just going to skip around a little bit. So, let's go ahead. Uh, wait, okay, so... I pick... I picked pa Phantom Pain. That's one of my favorite. <clears throat> and then uh, I think I picked Hong Lu in this one. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, as you know, Hong Lu, base Hong Lu is very powerful. I look at the map. Uh, nothing too good. Actually, yeah. Actually, that's a decent amount of uh, question marks. So I'm pretty sure I went down there. Uh, so these guys, not a real fight. I hit I win. I did win. Yeah, will for a little bit. We got the ab nose here. This one's really easy because both of them decide to block right off the bat. So this one isn't very entertaining. I'll just skip to the ending where it matters. And um, as you know, you clash. You just clash these guys as long as they don't have that skill that reflects, which is the sword with the shield. Just don't hit into that. Um, pretty straightforward fight. The focus land, perfected death fist. He's just dead. Well, he's not even dead. He's just staggered to die. And as you can see, we're just applying a ton of that from Battery Waifu. Uh, yeah, they just do not win this fight. It's pretty it's pretty one-sided. You know, they're staggered into staggered into death. I had another group. I remember I fought a lot of Abnos, and everything was really easy. It was fun. I had a great time playing this team because it was just so good. And you just do so much damage. So, skip forward, skip forward, skip forward. And, you know, these stupid-ass dogs, you just... Inquisitors? Dog Inquisitors? Fuck them. Uh, the trick to them is you just blow one up immediately, to the best of your ability. Um, pretty sure this is what we do here. Yeah, perfected death strike, 83, that's a 6, so it would have been 90... 89 damage. Followed up with perfected death fist, he's just the deadest. Mersault actually does a lot of damage. Huh. But not more than Gregor. That's a fact. It may be because he takes... Oh yeah, fucking Heathcliff just loses his fucking ant, of all things. Like, holy shit, who loses the ant? Um... Well, that happens. So obviously, this guy, we just go for clashing. Because we win the clash, and then we're just going to kill the dog, because fuck him. Uh, skip forward. Yeah. Okay, so... Pretty disappointing, but the final boss is Guido. Uh, spoilers, he beats Gregor in this clash, and Gregor doesn't even get to play the game. But uh, we just completely shit-stomp him in. He's dead. Uh, yeah, you know, dies on round two, practically. Heathcliff bashes his brains in. Alright, and... Oops, damage. Is that... that Alright, yeah. Obviously, Gregor number one... Marisol did great damage because he was getting a ton of buffs from G Corp uh, Otis, which I'm really shocked actually worked. Um, Hong Lu beat Heathcliff in damage. I guess Heathcliff wasn't really shining that well in this fight. Uh, that's fine. So with that said, let's reveal the egos real quick. We got some really good egos, obviously. Uh, well, except for the starting ego, which is today's expression. Garbage. Battery waifu is amazing. That page is really good for healing. Phantom pain is free damage. Illusionary hunt is mand. I think it's mandatory because fuck Abnos. Uh, murky eye was whatever. Didn't do anything. The tier is good for damage. And the coin, of course, is still really good. So, with that said, we're going to jump into the tier list. Uh, right. Gregor, S tier. Great at clashing. Great at clashing, great damage, uh, wonderful character. Biggest issue, in my opinion, is that he is squishy. He does stagger easily, and he does take a lot of damage. I've had some runs where Mike Gregor just eats shit. Oh, well. Um, A tier, Mersault. Why did Mersault go here? 
Because, I'll be honest with you, he doesn't do a lot of damage. And sometimes he's, he doesn't clash well. I'm pretty sure every Mersault doesn't clash well. I know base Mersault isn't good. I have not used W Mersault because I heard he's a pile of dog shit. Very reasonable. Um, this one sometimes doesn't win clashes. Uh, has pretty okay damage. And what was the last thing again? Oh, at least he's tanky. He's tanky, right? He's tanky, but he's slow. Which is the most common issue. Now, you're wondering why did I throw Otis in B? Even though Otis is very good. The issue, like, it goes back to before. She has to win those coin tosses to do any damage at all. If you lose those coin toss, she does nothing. Um, except for her green skill, which activates on hit. That's fine. So, yeah, she's all single coins. So, she really needs to win coin tosses. This also includes that she might struggle in clashes. And that's the other issue. Um, with the new coin buff, we'll see how she does. I will definitely mess around with her a little bit more. Again, subject to change. Uh, Shidon might go lower since overbreath is not won't be working as intended, which is unintended. Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Again, if you agree or disagree, please tell me why. Um, other than that, I am super excited for Leo Hong. T Hong, like super excited for Leo Hong. He's gonna be broken. He's I'm I'm willing to bet he's gonna land inside Hong tier. Um, that's me though. Other than that, you know, we we finally saw his skills. Yeah, all right, cool, whatever. Later, dude.